1037 is the time now. He got his start as a Disney child actor featured in shows like That's So Raven and Corey in the House. Now Atlanta's own Kyle Massey has a new sitcom premiering today. Millennials is about four millennial friends who live together. Take a look. I'm a scientific influencer. I'm in the investment game, baby. I'm in the process of shut up. I'm currently on drugs. Oh, you gotta leave me with this guy. <laughs> Actor Kyle Massey joins us live now to talk more about the new show. Kyle, good morning. So good to see you. Good morning, guys. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, we appreciate it. Okay, so let's start with Millennials here, because this new show looks like a whole lot of fun and such a cool cast, too. So tell us about your character, Omar. Yeah, my, my character, Omar, he's just like, he's really like a grown-up Corey Baxter. He just always focused on the money. He's just always focused on going further in business. But my roommates, they just, they, I, they don't have it together. You know what I mean? <laughs> so they just keep pulling me down, and I just got to keep figuring out how to keep getting back up, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love it, I love it. So, I mean, you are 29, you're, you are a millennial. So what kind of storylines can we expect for this? And, and do they feel like they're kind of ripped out of real life? Yeah, they're 100% ripped out of real life. Like, a lot of the things we do in the show are very relatable. It's like everyone, no matter where you are, what color you are, you can relate to this show. So, I mean, you're just gonna see a lot of real life moments crammed into a sitcom with some crazy, Still happening. Oh, I love that. I mean, it seems like a, a just a fun way to get together with some friends too to watch this and, and a relatable show. Now, and you got your big break, of course, acting almost 20 years ago on Disney's That's So Raven. Then there was the spinoff, Corey in the House. So, I want to know: Do people still stop you and ask you about playing Corey Baxter? And when you look back on that, what was that whole experience like? Yeah, you know, see, my face still looks exactly. Yes, you the still same. have a baby so face. How, what is the? What's your secret there? Man, I wish I had a secret, honestly. I really don't have one, but I don't know why my face is exactly the same. But yeah, a lot of people recognize me when I go places. That's why I got to wear a hat. But it was like the best memories of my life. You know, I love Disney Channel. I've been working for them for almost 20 years, and it's literally been a blessing and nothing less. Oh, I love to hear that. I love to hear that. Yeah, your resume, what I love is that your resume lists entrepreneur. What are you doing when you aren't acting? Uh, well, I actually just started a streaming company, so I actually stream live concerts and, uh, you know, stream them around the world. So before the pandemic, we were doing them in real life, but now we're just streaming them at our venue in Hollywood, and we're just pushing them out to the world. That way we can just keep getting content to fans globally. Oh, I love that, because it's been a struggle these days to find good content, especially when we're, you know, this has just been such a weird year in terms of getting that fresh content. So that's so smart. Yeah. What I want to ask too. You know, so, I'm trying to be a little smart, you know. Yeah, there Corey you go. Got business on his mind. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Some things never change, right? Right. Come on, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> well, I mean, so many child actors they have a difficult time breaking out of those stereotypes that they play as they grow older. But what's been the biggest challenge for you? Because you've really managed to navigate it all so well. Uh, yeah. You know, it's it's really been um, just a long, a long race. You know, slow and steady wins the race, and it's all about timing, knowing when to transition to an adult, you know, letting my fans grow up first and then letting them want to see me in an adult role. You know, if you grow up too fast, then you kind of grow up faster than your fans. Mm. So a lot of times it's about patience and really just knowing the timing, which I think that my mom, Angel Massey, and my dad and my agent, Joy Purvis, all in Atlanta have really just been amazing at. So if it weren't for them, I feel like I don't know where I would be. So yeah, it's all about timing. Oh, I love that. That's smart. Well, well, thank you so much for chatting with us and catching up with us today. And we're going to keep an eye out for you in the future. That's for sure. Thank you so much. Everyone tune in to Millennials today for All Black. Big shout out to AMC. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks, Kyle. And as he said, Millennials, the six episode original sitcom, it premieres today on AMC Network's newly relaunched streaming service, All Black.